In this problem, we're being asked to create a function, write a function for a real world situation. And in this case, it's going to be a linear function. So what I like to do when I have to write a linear function is just start with the equation for a line. Here it is in y equals mx plus b format. You've seen this before. When this format is applied to a real world situation, we have b, which is a constant. So that's some number that's not going to change over time. So we should be looking for that in our information. Then it has a variable that stands for the thing that changes, however you're tracking it. Sometimes it's a period of time. And then how much it changes for each period of time, for example, how much something goes up or down. That would be the multiplier here, the m. And then y would be in the place of, of what you're trying to find. So let's read this and see if we can fit it into this form. It says, Diane is putting money into a savings account. She starts with $550, and each week she adds $70. Okay, so there we have all of the pieces that we need. Um, it says down here, let S represent the total amount of money. That's going to be the name of our function, so that's going to stand in place of Y. So I'm going to put S here. And then it says, let W represent the number of weeks. Okay, so uh, I, I mentioned that x is the thing that changes. In this case, it's a time period. It's a number of weeks. So w is going to be here for x. So I'll just put that in here. Then we're going to have some multiplier on w and some constant. Well, the other numbers we have here are $70 and $550. The $550, that's going to be our constant because that was put into the bank account at the beginning and that number doesn't really change. It was always there. So that's our constant. What does change is that every week we put in $70. So if I multiply W by 70, that's going to represent that. Because if one week has gone by, you'd put in 1 for W, you'd have $70 added to your 550. After two weeks, you've put in $140. Well, you'd have 2 times 70, 140, plus 550. So that is our linear equation to model this situation. Now, the second part is to use that equation to find the total amount uh, of money in the savings account after 19 weeks. So we just put in 19 for W, which represents the number of weeks. So we get 70 times 19 plus 550. And we just do the math there, and we'll find out. Let me grab my calculator. So 70 times 19, that's 1330 plus 550. And that would be. 1880. So Diane has $1,880 in her savings account after 19 weeks. So that is how to create a function for a real world situation.